The human species shares a lot of similarities with a lot of other organic material and other animals that might surprise you. You might have known that humans were similar to chimpanzees, but what about something like cabbage? From people with some of the rarest genetic mutations to humans sharing similar genetics with bananas. Here are the craziest facts about DNA. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye, but today I'm right here on Talptanic, bringing you this video. Every cell. DNA stores a lot of the information about genetic makeup of a specific organism. It's passed on from generation to generation and is found in every cell in the human body. Each strand of DNA could be unraveled to measure 1.8 meters long, but it's all squeezed into a compact space of 0.09 micrometers. DNA can come from any part of your body, so you gotta do a good job after you clean up your crime scene. It's in your hair, your saliva, fingernails, blood, and you name it. More specifically, it's located in each cell's nucleus, but there's also something called microchondrial DNA. The DNA in each cell is damaged anywhere from a thousand to one million times per day, but our body is somehow able to repair it. Your DNA can stretch. Somehow, if you were able to theoretically unwind and link together all the strands of your DNA and combine it together, it could reach the sun and back to Earth 600 times. That's a lot of miles of DNA, folks. Each strand of DNA can stretch about six feet long, but there's hundreds of trillions of cells in your body. It gives you an idea how complex the genetic makeup is in our body and how many cells we have. The Double Helix Being able to discover the shape of DNA was crucial for many scientists to make advancements in medicine and biological science. In 1953, two men named Watson and Crick used a process known as X-ray diffraction to take a look inside cells. They found the trademark twisting ladder-shaped strands that could be intertwined and broken apart to pass on genetic codes and so on. A few decades prior, however, it's known that other scientists have made observations of DNA, such as Friedrich Meischer, who knew DNA was there. It essentially was a building block for any kind of life form, and they knew it was a huge discovery. Tardigrade DNA absorption. They have eight legs and get the nickname of the water bear due to the way they walk around. They're classified as extremophiles and can survive in the most extreme conditions imaginable. During an experiment they conducted on tardigrades, they found out that they can actually survive the same conditions of space for 10 days. This is due to their ability to survive UV radiation. It turns out that tardigrades are actually able to absorb DNA from several species of bacteria, making them downright DNA thieves. Not only that, they've been found in Antarctic glaciers, the mountains of the Himalayas, and even in boiling hot springs. The craziest survival fact about this creature is that they're actually capable of going 100 years with no food or water. Scientists are now looking into the possible ways of making people more radiation resistant by studying the DNA of the tardigrade. Glowfish. What color would you like your fish to be when it glows in the dark? Sunburst orange? Moonrise pink? Starfire red? Cosmic blue? Or galactic purple? Do you believe that DNA from other animals can actually be used in different animals to make them another color? These glowfish are the first genetically engineered pets on the market to become available to the public, but that doesn't mean you'll find them everywhere. Jellyfish DNA, or DNA from other sea creatures, is inserted into the embryos of zebrafish, which will result in a glow-in-the-dark fish. Other DNA from coral, sea anemones, and sea pansies are used to make them glow different colors. It's believed that they were originally created to be released into the water and become fluorescent when toxic water was present. Many fish have some natural fluorescence, so there hasn't been any natural negative genetic effects to the fish populations just yet. Human DNA and bananas. Would you believe that more than half of our DNA and genetic material is shared with bananas? If you're eating a banana right now, you might as well go ahead and consider yourself to be a 60% bloodthirsty cannibal. Ever since the human genome was first sequenced in 2003, comparative genomics has shown that we have a lot in common with this potassium-rich fruit. Things known as housekeeping genes are needed in many organisms for basic cellular function and are shared by many different animals. However, bananas contain more similar DNA than many other foods. Genes from Egypt A Swiss genetics company claims that they ran some tests and found out that roughly 70% of British men are somehow related to King Tut. King Tut belonged to a profile known as R1B1A2, to which more than 50% of all men in Western Europe belong to. Around 60% of French men and 70% of Spanish men share the same genetic pool, which is a little bit surprising. It's believed that there must have been some kind of common ancestor that lived in the Caucasus Mountains. Others claim that this is racist, and the company who did the study doesn't have enough info to conclude this. What do you think, though? There's nothing strange with having kids, but some of the pharaohs had so many, it's still relevant in modern times. Ramses the Great had 100 children, and there's actually a very good chance that you even have some genetics from an Egyptian pharaoh. We're all mutants. Each and every day, humans are exposed to the sun's UV lights, which can cause damage to the DNA in our cells. We've mentioned how a lot of damage to DNA can be reversed on a daily basis, but it's not so easy all the time. Unrepaired damages to our DNA are essentially mutations. This makes us all a bunch of mutants, so you shouldn't really feel too bad. Some mutations can actually prove to be healthy, so it's just the luck of the draw. 
Cosmic Double Helix If a human's DNA is the building block of their life and it takes the shape of a double helix, could the building blocks of the universe also take the same shape? Maybe in this case, a mysterious galaxy was discovered which featured a double helix shape and this is the first time it's been seen in the cosmos. While many galaxies like the Milky Way might take the shape of a spiral, this one here displays supergiant planets, dust, and other gases creating the DNA shape. Astronomers believe that the shape is actually due to it being perpendicular to a black hole. Hypertrichosis, also known as werewolf syndrome, this rare genetic mutation affects only one in a billion people, meaning that there are only probably about seven people with this mutation on Earth. It's due to an abnormality in the X chromosome and will flip on the hair growing gene at a young age. In fact, only 50 cases of this genetic disorder have been documented since the Middle Ages. These brothers from Mexico you see in the photo don't seem to let it bother them though, however. It causes rapid thick hair growth all over the body, including the face. This photo here shows a woman named Alice Elizabeth Doherty who exhibited signs of hypertrichosis at a young age. She was exhibited as a sideshow attraction known as the Minnesota Wooly Girl. Red Hair DNA Red hair is the world's rarest hair color, with less than 2% of the world's population having red hair. It's a recessive gene known as MC1R, meaning that both parents must carry this gene in order for them to have a red-haired baby. Even if they do carry it, there's only about a 25% chance that they'll come out that way. The region of Scotland has the most redheads, with 13%, and Ireland comes in at second with 10%. If you decide that at some point in your life, you choose not to have a red-haired child, it might be best to pair with a member of the Asian ethnicity, since it's extremely unlikely that they carry the gene. Sometimes if one parent has it but the other one doesn't, it might result in a reddish beard or red hair somewhere else. CRISPR-Cas9 Modern scientists seem to be extremely fascinated with DNA and our genetics, and it may be able to answer some questions to issues. CRISPR-Cas9 is basically a new reliable way to make precise and targeted changes to the genome of living cells. This is quite the huge discovery for biomedical researchers. Once Cas9 is introduced, scientists have an option to insert or delete different genetics. Not only is it inexpensive, it's effective, and they don't believe it will have an effect on non-targeted genomes. However, although it is improved, it's not 100% accurate and sometimes they can miss. For human cells, the targeting efficiency ranges anywhere from 70 to 80% as opposed to older established methods. The Tree Man Syndrome The scientific name, which might be a little bit tricky to pronounce, is a genetic disease which you certainly don't want to get. It's caused from an inactivating P8 mutation which plays a crucial role in regulating the distribution of zinc in the cell's nuclei. Without this vital vitamin, the HPV virus will run rampant, causing scaly macules and papules all over the hands and feet, resulting in bark-like skin. Some of the growths can weigh up to 15 pounds total. This skin condition is often inherited, and the photo you see here comes from Bangladesh, where a man had a total of 11 pounds of these root-like lesions from his hands. Endogenous Retrovirus In case you didn't know, you have an ancient virus in your brain, which is a control in your consciousness. A long time ago, this virus attached itself to the genome of four-legged mammals, which is still active in our brains today. It plays a vital role of relaying information from our genes into our nerve cells. You might also be surprised to find out that 40 to 80% of our genome came from some form of archaic viral invasion. The virus attacked our DNA, but it came out to be beneficial this time since its genes were passed into our genetic makeup. The virus also went on to insert its genes in the bugs like fruit flies and worms, which we also share a surprising amount of genes with. Now you have to wonder if the government would create a virus like this that can change our genetics and turn us into mindless raging zombies.